Don't let this happen to you. This is Farshid with another video just for you. So in this video, we'll take a look at a scenario where a refrigerator is connected to a GFCI outlet. Right away, we don't see that there's anything plugged into this GFCI outlet. However, if we look back here, there's the outlet for the refrigerator. Refrigerator, it's on right now. And take a look at our GFCI outlet. We're going to test this GFCI by pushing a test button. And the refrigerator also turned off. So what is happening here is that the GFCI, it has two connections, two sets of connections on the back. The bottom set of connections is labeled as load. And the load in this case is connected to outlet for the refrigerator which means the load is feeding the outlet for the refrigerator. Therefore, anytime the GFCI outlet gets tripped, the outlet for the refrigerator is disabled, meaning the refrigerator is gonna go off. If the GFCI outlet gets tripped, and if you don't know about it, refrigerator will not have any power people wake up in the morning and look at the refrigerator and it's off the food is spoiled come to find out this was the scenario and i'll show you how to correct this okay here we go so these are the connections for the gfci outlet if we look at this outlet You'll see that on the back side of it, we have what's labeled as line, these two terminals. This is going to be hot side, and this side is the neutral side. And then we have a label, a tag on the bottom. And the bottom is what is referred to as the load. And uh, if you want more details about how to connect up the bottom, take a look at my video on the GFCI outlet. But in this particular case, since the bottom now is connected to an outlet that controls the refrigerator, we want to eliminate that because the bottom is also controlled by this GFCI outlet, meaning that Anytime the GFCI outlet gets tripped, there is no electricity flowing from the bottom terminals of this outlet. Therefore, the outlet that's, that is downstream from this outlet will not have any power. In this case, a refrigerator, which is not a good idea. So let me show you how uh, we can eliminate that from happening by taking a look at what's going on behind the scenes on, in this uh, outlet. Now we're going to go ahead and turn power off. Once the power is turned off, we'll take the cover off. Here we take a look at our connections, right? And this is the hot side, and this is the neutral side that's feeding right there, that outlet which feeds our refrigerator. So the way to eliminate the issue is, all we need to do is remove this wire, put it with line, same with the neutral side. Attach this neutral to the neutral side of line. That way, 
even though the outlet, the GFCI outlet trips, we still have power going to refrigerator because the refrigerator outlet is connected to the line which is connected to the breaker so it's not disturbed by the behavior of GFCI outlet. Here we're going to check. It is off. Okay, and we'll flip it to this side. We'll go ahead and screw this in. Flip it over to this side, screw this one in. Then we can test. Turn that one back on. Now we're taking a look at the refrigerator. And the outlet has been rewired. So you can see at the bottom right here on the load side, there's no connection. This goes to the outlet for the refrigerator. Same with this side. There's a hot side that's coming from the breaker. Goes outlet for the refrigerator. The refrigerator is on. The outlet is on. Now if this outlet gets tripped the refrigerator should stay on because we move the connections from the bottom, which is the load on both sides. If we look, we move the connection for the outlet for the refrigerator from here to up here to where the line is. So looking at it from this angle, refrigerator's on, outlet's on, outlet, the GFCI gets tripped, refrigerator still stays on. That's the way we want it. So if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell. That way every time I have a new video, you get notified. Thank you for watching.